I once survived being lost in a forest by eating a whole tin of cat food. Please, team. Wow. Oh, gosh. wow. When was this? 1996. How did you open the tin of cat food? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I smashed it on a rock. I smashed it on a nearby rock and I had to keep smashing it uh, like I was like early man. And what did you use to eat it? My fingers. Oh. Mm. Why humanity. did you have cat food? Well, she'd already eaten the cat. <laughs> <laughs> let's, 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 let's wind back a bit. Are we in Australia? Yes. Which part of Australia are we in? It was about seven hours out of Sydney. I was at university and uh, I went to a college where there was this uh, thing where they would do pranks on the freshers and then a, a group of older students dumped us in the forest. This is quite traumatic. It's like yeah. the Hunger Games, isn't it? But with cat food. <laughs> they, put you, they gave you the cat food? They gave us cat food. To survive off? To survive. How, how long before you start eating cat food, then? How long um, have you been in the forest? But it, it was a couple of hours. A couple of You're hours? You're eating <laughs> cat food after two hours. Blimey. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting this to be in no. at least out of yeah. like days, even maybe like a couple of day days. Day four. Day That'd four. Be my estimate. Hour yeah. two, and yeah. we give in. <laughs> How long were they intending to to keep you in this forest? We had to find a way back. We had to um, hitchhike back to the, hitchhike. to the city. Well, we, we tried walking, but it was Australia's much much larger than that. Uh, it is on my map at home. That's right. <laughs> wow. What do you think, Pam? I think it's true. Yep, yeah. I do. What about you, Kyle? No. I don't believe it. No. Lee? Yeah, I... I she's got the eyes of a traumatised woman. <laughs> I'll go with Ham and say it's true. All right. Sarah, is it true or is it a lie? That story? Yes. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Sarah did eat a whole tin of cat food. Our next round is called This Is My, where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panellists. This week, each of Lee's team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest, and it's up to David's team to spot who's telling the truth. So please welcome this week's special guest, Lee. <laughs> so, Pam, what is Lee to you? This is Lee. He caught me in his bookshop when I was putting my books on top of Richard Osman's. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, Pam's bookshop buddy, uh, Kyle, how do you know Lee? This is Lee. We once pretended to be 50 Cent's support act to get into a club. <laughs> <laughs> right. Kyle's fellow fraudster. And finally, Lee. What is your relationship with Lee? This is Lee. I single-handedly held his five-a-side football team to a draw after all four of my teammates were sent off. <laughs> so there we have it, <laughs> David. Right. So where was this bookshop, Pam? In Blackjack Street, Sirencester. And what's it called? Octavia's. Great name, Blackjack Street. That's Blackjack great. Street is great, isn't Do it? Do the numbers only go up to 21? <laughs> So, describe what you did and, and um, how I went Lee responded. In, and as you go in, there's a round table in front of you on which they put all the um, bestsellers. And I saw, as I walked in, a great stack of Richard's books and I was consumed by a bit of jealousy and envy. <laughs> <laughs> so here's this man who's selling all these thousands of books and here am I trying to earn a crust as a poet. Yeah. And I confess, a black... Cloud descended upon me, rigid with fury. I picked up. <laughs> That's our scene from Pulp Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> I will strike down upon thee. <laughs> this looks like Pamela L. Jackson. <laughs> rigid with fury and envy and jealousy and all of those foul emotions. I've got a couple of my books and I put them on top of his because I just thought it wasn't fair that one person should be so massively successful <laughs> when I am scratching a living as a, <laughs> as a versifier. <laughs> well, that all sounds very plausible. <laughs> and Lee saw you do he this. He saw me. He came over to me very politely and he said, excuse me, madam, but I have to bring to your attention the fact that you're not permitted to shift books around in the way that you are doing at present. <laughs> and he said, I must insist that you replace the books where they were originally exhibited. <laughs> <laughs> Did he realise that, they were, that <laughs> they were your books? 
What? Did he... <laughs> did he realise they were your books? Not initially. Not, not initially. Not until I spoke. <laughs> and then when I spoke, the realisation dawned across his face and he said, ah, you are that poet of renown. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you are that poet of renown. I wish you'd put that book down. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Pam Ayers is applauding my rhyming. You're surprised so, because you uh, were lamenting the scansion even as you said it. I was. <laughs> I was. So did he make you put them back? Yeah. Oh, and I, I left Octavia's with my tail between my legs. <laughs> she went to the bookshop at number 22, but they'd gone bust. <laughs> You're getting used to him now. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting used to him now. <laughs> Who would you like to quiz next? OK, Kyle, tell us your story again, please. Uh, so we pretended to be 50 Cent's opening act to get into a club. <laughs> what was the club? It was... I don't remember the name of the club, but it was in uh, the Arcadian in Birmingham. And, and that <laughs> night, 50 Cent, who... Is uh, I, I mean I'm not great with m music, as you know. He he was he's a rap star. Yeah, Philly. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's 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 what happened when Dollar split up, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> so he was playing in Birmingham that night, yeah. and people will be thinking there'll be a lot of his team around, and so it was a plausible yeah uh, thing to say. So Lee was our manager. We were from New York, and he was telling them like, listen, I've got these guys. They weren't going to come out tonight because they're going to be tired after the gig, but they've actually decided that they do want to come and shake a leg. And we've heard that this is the best club in Europe. So... <laughs> we've heard that the best club in Europe yeah. is in Birmingham. Yeah. <laughs> so did they ask you anything? So did you put on a New York accent? Well, Lee was doing the chatting and talking, and it was like, listen, I've got these guys that have come from New York. Look, and... here we go. I will be the bouncer. <laughs> you, <laughs> you be Lee trying to get into my club. We let him do his thing, right. and then every now and then we'd be like, hey, yo, we getting in or what? And yeah. just, right, uh, sir, please. I'm just trying to get in with my yes, friends. Sir, you know sir, please. I... Now, appreciate you've had a difficult night. <laughs> Put yourself in my shoes. Like, where are you from? Like... <laughs> I'm from Birmingham, you cheeky devil. Now, if it's a quiet night, you can come in. Right. Night. What? If it's a quiet night. Why, why have you got your granddad with you? What's he doing here? <laughs> yeah, he just, uh... Tell us about your band. I mean, what sort of band? Love a bit of music, mate. Yeah, we do like rap music and whatever. What part of New York are you from, sir? Brooklyn. I'll tell you what, it's breaking the rules. We're going to let you in. All right? I appreciate that. Uh, I'm with him. Can I come in? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. We have an over 70s night every oh. Sunday. <laughs> can I come in? You can definitely come in because tonight is bondage night. <laughs> All right, now, Lee, remind us, it seems a while ago. So, this is Lee, and I single-handedly held his five-a-side team to a draw after all of my players were sent off apart from me. What, what year was this? This was about, uh, about a year ago. And what was it about this match that caused your teammates to be sent off? What well, sort of people are you playing football with? They were, they, they were all uh, different, different reasons. Please well, tell us. Well, the first one was sent off for dissent. Who was that first person? First person was Jeff. Jeff. What does Jeff do for a living? Jeff, uh, Jeff. How do you know him? He's a bin man. He's a bin man? Yeah. Is he your bin man? Uh, he's not my bin man, no. So how do you know him? He's one of the dads at the local school. Yeah. Then someone was sent off a few minutes after Jeff. Who was that? Ron. Ron? Ron. Oh, no. Why? Well, Ron, Ron went in with a two-footed tackle. No, a two-footed tackle? Yeah, anyway, he has got one leg as well, which is really weird. <laughs> but he did it twice. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, How do you know Ron? Uh, postman. He's a postman, is he? No, he is. Is he your postman? <laughs> not my postman. Not your no. postman? No, no, no. So how do you know him if he's not your postman? Well, I just know him from the local school. He's one of the dads. Oh, OK. <laughs> and who's the third thug? Why don't we say the next two are sent off together? Shall we? <laughs> 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 